Sup, you chuckle fucks. It's your boy, Dark Rekki, with What If Issei Was Chosen by Mythical Creatures, Part 2. Now, I am going to have to do a recap, because uh, Part 1 was like one month ago. But yeah, let me do that recap. It's not that long, because, well, mostly that video I did was like 20 seconds. Uh, tw tw 26 minutes. I don't know why I say 20 seconds. 26 minutes. Uh, not the point. So pretty much what happened last time was Issei was on the ground, of course, all burnt up, thanks to Riser Phoenix beating the shit of him, like a random cannon, but of course, Riser just time wanted to actually destroy him, so, well, uh, Rios would be all depressed and mostly, uh, just feeling so much, uh, despair, so he would be easier to take, but of course, Issei in his mindscape was crying, uh, showing that he was so weak that he couldn't do anything, and all them other things, but of course, he didn't know this, but someone was actually calling upon, well, mostly, he was accidentally calling upon a mythical creature on accident, even though he didn't know this. But when he calls upon a mythical creature appearing right in front of him, a white golden phoenix kind of came out of nowhere and, of course, said that he will actually help Issei. This is where, well, he, this white golden phoenix is actually the original, well, not original, he's the original phoenix out of all different phoenixes mostly every single different phoenix he's actually the leader of the phoenix clan and of course like the actual phoenix clan at the devil side but yeah the devils are just a phoenix that well mostly a phoenix that gave the devils or mostly a pacific devil uh their power so yeah it was only a promise and a bet mostly not even a bet just a promise that that phoenix gave the devil and the devil now has phoenix powers but yeah of course that's why there's the phoenix clan or mostly the Phoenix Clan in, was it called, the Underworld, but yeah. This is where, well, mostly Issei understand all that, but this is where Issei did also get some of the power from this Phoenix Leader, because the Phoenix Leader just says, my golden, my, my, was it called, Golden Heart Prince, I will help you. So, of course, helping Issei actually have a sword that we will be able to extract anyone's Phoenix powers away from them. So, of course, also has the power of the kind of leader of the Phoenix to actually help him much easier. So, of course, Issei was fighting against Riser when he came back outside with a glow, a very bright white flame, kind of goldenish white flames appearing around him. Of course, his body was healed all max pretty easily. Of course, this is where, well, Issei had the sword, and this is where Issei stabbed into Riser, taking out some of his Phoenix powers away, of course, beating the shit of him, and not caring what uh, Riser was talking about before taking all his, well, mostly Phoenix powers away. And just leaving the demonic powers back into his body. But yeah. This is where, well, Issei kind of show off his own wings to show that he was actually a true phoenix, but not really, he just got the powers from a true phoenix, but yeah. This is where, well, Issei is not a fried chicken. Well, yeah, kind of. Okay, now that I think about it, someone did mention, is he a fried chicken? Kind of. Not really, but yeah. <laughs> of course, after the battle, mostly Ryzer was defeated, and of course, Reyes was able to just be out of the arranged marriage, but yeah. But other than that... Let me begin into where I left, uh, last left that off, but yeah, let me begin. So, we begin into mostly Reyes kind of being at the party somewhat, and of course, mostly at the festival of No More Arranged Marriage, and of course, where, well, Riser is over here crying in the corner because he first lost his soon-to-be wife, being Reyes, and kind of being a trophy, but at the same time, he also lost his phoenix powers thanks to another person who was actually... Supposed to be from a true Phoenix clan, not his clan, from a true Phoenix clan, making him believe that he no longer deserved to live. Which he say he doesn't mind using the sword, like he has a sword right next to him, and he heard Riser saying that he no longer deserves to ever live. And this is where Issei hears upon this, Issei grabs a sword out of the sheath for a second until mostly, um. Someone stops him from actually doing that, and there's none other than Sona, and Sona says, What are you doing? He says, Uh, nothing. Uh, no, no, nothing. <laughs> this is where, well, he just whistles, but yeah. This is where, well, uh, Sona says, I know what you're trying to do. Just because Riser Phoenix doesn't want to be a, fe uh, well, living no more because you took his power away, which, how the hell do you do that? He says, I don't know. Don't care. Well, then, that. Bye, Sona. That's where Issei walks away. Now, he knows what he did. It's just like, me, but yeah, this is where, well, Issei does know how he got those powers, it's just, 
he's not going to abuse him. He just wanted to kind of hurt Riser a little bit more just because Riser hurt him pretty bad in the battlefield. So, yeah. Of course, the work will. You see, he is kind of walking around. Of course, it worked well. He then kind of gets hit in the back by, well, mostly Sanji. And Sanji says, good job, buddy. You managed to save your master from an arranged marriage. Not gonna lie, that was the coolest shit I've ever seen. How the hell did you become a phoenix? He says it is. Uh, born unlucky and then born to be lucky later? This it work well? Sanji says, huh. Oh, okay. What do you mean, born to be unlucky and then get unlucky or well, get lucky la next time? He says, I don't know what I'm talking about. I think I'm just too tired now. This is where it will. So I just say, okay. This is where it will. He should kind of like walks the balcony of mostly somewhere because he's not really enjoying the party too much. Well, he is, but he feels kind of tired. Really kind of tired. This is where it will. He's kind of like sitting down, and of course, this is where, well, this is where, well, mostly not sitting down, mostly looking at the balcony, and this is where, mostly over the balcony and other stuff, and just thinking what, oh, well, a lot of things, a lot, about a couple of things and a lot of things of what is happening. So, there's some things that he's wondering a lot. First, he's wondering how in maybe how he can be able to contact the phoenix kind of leader again because he does have the sword of the extraction phoenix powers and he also does have the leader's powers just one problem how is he able to contact the phoenix leader again without being able somehow with somehow he wants to contact him contact him again because he wants to ask a little bit more questions but that's not the point that's in his mind right now. He just realized that's what's a call. In the outside, even though with the Phoenix powers, the Phoenix powers did not remove his disguise. Even though inside his mindscape, the Phoenix leader literally knew about his disguise. His white hair, his original white hair and golden eyes. This is where, well, he decides to kind of like lean into the wall and of course just think about it. This is where, well, he's thinking, well, he has both of his eyes closed and just thinking. This is where, well, hmm. this is where someone would walk up to him and kind of just notice that he was both his eyes closed. And this is where Issei was thinking a little too hard and trying to wonder what he was going to do next. But this is where someone says, ara, ara, Issei-kun, he seems to be thinking a lot. So what are you thinking about? This is where Issei opened his eyes and says, huh? Oh, hey there, akuno -chan. Um, <clears throat> I'm just thinking of, uh, um, uh, I guess you can say I'm thinking about life and other stuff. Yeah. This is where, well, I can say, oh, what kind of life you two, you and Reese, Reese are going to have together? This is where Issei's face becomes a little tinted red and says, what are you talking about, Akuno? This is where Akuno says, ara, ara. You seem to be blushing, fluster. You're not thinking of anything perverted with Rias, are you? This is where Issei says, no, 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 no. This is where, well, Akuno says, are you thinking of perverted thoughts about me? This is where Issei's face becomes all red and says, no, no, no. This is where, well, mostly, uh, Akuno says, well, I should be going. You should probably go into the party. Besides, uh, mostly the demon lord is about, uh, about to announce something out big. And it's probably going to involve you. He just says, me? Why me? Well, you did say Rias from your arranged marriage. So it's probably going to be counting something with you. He says, yeah, I'll go inside. Wait, I'm just going to think about something else. Don't worry, I'll be inside real quick. This is what, well, I'm going to say, don't wait too long. This is where she kind of winks at Issei and walks away, but yeah. That's what Issei says. <sighs> Yeah, don't wait too long. This is where Issei then kind of looks into mostly the out, mostly into the space. The space above him. And this is where, well, just looking up in the sky and just thinking about something. This is where, well, Issei says, surprises will come. Hmm. The leader thing is just say that more surprises will be coming up later. But what kind of surprises would I be coming up later? <sighs> Still, I don't even know how I managed to even call him. 
Was that just luck? But he keeps calling me Golden Golden Heart Prince. What is that? I can't talk to Drake and yet I don't have any clues. This is where someone grabs him from the like shirt. And we'll see his like uh clothing that he was wearing. This is where oh well, he wasn't wearing anything fancy I should mention because well yeah. But of course, Issei just got his like sharp pull on, and this is where he then looks down and says, Kaneko, do you need something? This is where Kaneko kind of sniffs the air and says, Why don't you smell like a fried chicken? Issei says, Huh? Oh, that? Uh, because, uh, I guess I washed up before coming here. This is where Kaneko shakes her hand and says, No, I'm talking about why don't you actually feel like a phoenix entirely? He says, uh, uh, maybe it was just a faulty form. I, I don't know. This is where, well, Koneko seems to see Issei kind of lying through his teeth. But of course, Issei seems to be unsure also, making him lie, but unsurely. This is where, well, Koneko then nods and says, well, you should probably be going inside. Uh, Arias is actually calling upon you. And well, we'll see, uh, Lord Satan is calling upon you. This is where, well, Issei says, oh, really? Yeah, I should probably go inside. That's where Issei kind of just, like, look at to the sky and just thinks more. Onisan. I hope. This is where, well, he thinks of Onisan and was well, someone named Onisan. Or, yeah, meaning brother. This is where, well, we go into Issei kind of meeting up with Satan and, of course, or that being Sir Zex, Lucifer, and, of course, Rias. This is where, well, uh, Issei said that he wanted Rias to be free. This is where Sir Sex then asked if he wants anything else. This is where, well, like some kind of harem or any of that. And this is where Issei says, uh, I guess I just want three favors. This is where Issei smiles and just unsuring. This is where, well, Sir Sex nods and says, okay, good to know. This is where, well, Issei says, yeah. This is where, well, Issei then kind of, well, mostly, uh, Sir Sex kind of says that, this griffin is going to take you towards, mostly, back to the human world, but yeah. This is where Issei says, okay. This is where, well, when they get on the griffin and the griffin starts flying, mostly they see the sky and other stuff. But this is where, well, Issei didn't really pay attention to what Rias was saying for a second, because mostly the griffin says, I see. Mostly he said it into Issei's mindscape, and this is where, well, Issei says, huh, who, who said that? This is where he says in his mindscape, it's me. Since you're right close to me, it seems i am be able to connect to you. Hello, I am a griffin. You already know that I'm one of the mythical animals. Yeah? Wait, a mythical animal? Similar to that like the phoenix? Yes, my golden heart prince. Why do people keep calling me that? I want to know answers. If you're a mythical animal, then why do you keep calling me golden heart prince? Hmm? You don't know? Ah, uh, I see. So your family never told you. Hmm, your family probably didn't know that much. Hmm. Do you have any brothers or siblings or anything? The sewer, well, he says, yeah, I have one older brother. Then he will tell you. The sewer, well, he says, what? But I haven't seen him in such a long time. Please just tell me. Sorry, but I can't. I cannot break the promise or break the rules. The sewer, he says, uh, but the sewer, well, the griffin says, I can't tell you anything that much further. I just needed to know for sure if you were the Golden Heart Prince. But it seems our lady friend is right now talking to you. So go back to just hearing her out. Issei says, what, what? This is where uh, Rhea says, Issei, Issei. This is where she's snapping her fingers right in front of Issei. Issei says, yeah, sorry, sorry, I'm just thinking. This is where, well, uh, Rhea says, oh, I'm happy, f uh, well, what I was saying, I was happy for the fact that you saved me from Riser. I'm really happy. Um... About that, uh, what's it called? Issei. He says, it, huh? Yeah? I want to tell you something later. He says, it, sure. Yeah, it's okay. I can talk to you later. This is where, well, he says, okay. This is where she's kind of a little bit pink, and Issei notices, but this is where he didn't pay attention too much. He said, then noticed that he was back in the human world. This is where Issei says, hmm, hey, Griffin. This is where he says in his head. And this is where the griffin says, yeah, can I borrow a little bit of your powers? 
Well, I mean, you already been, well, with me, and I've been just sending a little bit of powers. I think I know what you're thinking. You're going to jump off and try to fly with my powers. Similar to that which you did with the Phoenix. Yes. Then go ahead. I'll be dropping you somewhere that most of the people won't be able to see you. He says, hey, thank you. This is where, well, we'll see. He says, okay, Rias, I'll be going. This is where Rias says, wait, where do you think you're... This is where he say jumps off the griffin, and this is where wings of griffins like appear, and this is where he flies down, pretty easily landing in a building and saying, "Okay, that was tougher than I was expecting." Holy shit! This is where Rius is screaming, "He say you, what?" This is where well she was actually kissing him this time when they were kind of near the city and seeing the city lights because thinking it was kind of going to be kind of romantic, but he say it's gone. Yeah, he dipped. This is where well. This is where we go into Issei kind of just waving by towards Rias and then just running off, off the building, but yeah. Issei then goes on with his kind of life and just wondering what should he, what sh well, what should he do because mostly, well, there's some problems. First of all, the problems are that mostly, there's a couple of problems here, that being, uh, so that being, well, the problems are first his bro uh, brother problem that he needs to figure out where his brother would be at. He's going to have to ask his parents about that. This is where then the second problem is the mythical animals that keep appearing are mostly two mythical animals being that the griffin and phoenix. Then there must be the connection in how he keeps getting their powers because it seems that they can send the power into Issei but Issei gets stronger but he's not affected by the negative side effect or any of that this is where well he say doesn't understand but he's just nodding this is where well he say then says how do i have a gold golden heart friends this is where he say keeps thinking about that name he heard it so much from his brother mostly he heard that uh mostly when he was younger and i don't think he remembers when he was younger mostly his brother us usually called him that he was like a golden heart child most of the time this is where, well, Issei is trying to think in what his brother even meant. His parents never did mention anything about this, but his brother did mention something about this. He says this. Ah, uh, how would I be able to meet him again? Damn it, damn it, damn it. This is where, well, Issei says, I'm not going to just, like, bump into him in the middle of the freaking street. This is where, well, we speak of the devil because about, like, 30 seconds, Issei actually bumped into someone who was kind of taller than him. When Issei looked up and said, sorry about that, man. Uh, this is where, well, the person that was mostly taller than him and kind of looking over him was mostly a guy with kind of a similar hairstyle of Issei's, but a brownish, like, brownish, uh, well, goldenish brown color. Of course, he had golden brown eyes, and this is where, well, his hair was a little bit longer uh, than normal than any normal person. But of course, he had what's it called red kind of clothing, like a red jacket, and of course, like reddish pants. But yeah, doesn't work well. He smiles at Issei and says, "Hey, little brother." This is where Issei says, uh, oh, 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 "Oh, son." This is where before anything else happens, he pulls out something, mostly Issei's older brother, and literally throws something on top of Issei's hair, and he's like, bleh, bleh, bleh. "Why does that taste so bad? Bleh, bleh. What the hell did he throw in my hair?" This is where we'll see his brother then grab like a towel and rub that around Issei's hair. And this is where Issei's like, ow, stop it, you jerk. This is where he managed to push uh, his older brother away. And this is where his older brother's smiling and saying, so, how is it so much, much, uh, well, he says, so how is it? How's your original hair color? This is where Issei says, uh, my, you. This is where he realized when he kind of pulls one of his hairs down towards his face, he says, you, mother. This is where, well, his brother laughs and says, Huh, I managed to get you uh, back. Isn't that better? This is where, well, uh, mostly Issei glares at his brother and says, Why would you do that? Why would you go back to putting my hair back to white? I don't deserve something like this. This is where, well, his brother looks at him with an annoyed kind of look. But this is where, well, he then smiles gently and kind of goes up to him and just kind of smacks him in the head first and then kind of hugs him and says, You don't deserve something like this. Oh, please, Issei. You always deserve things like this. You should be happy with your white hair and your golden eyes. And I did manage to take your eyelashes out of your face anyway. This is where Issei says, 
This is where, well, uh, Issei's brother's chuckling and seeing his, like, little brother's kind of uh, reaction. This is where, well, Issei says, you, you, you mean person, what the hell? This is where, well, we'll see Issei kind of said, with an annoyed, to uh, annoyed kind of tone, but yeah. This is where, well, Issei's older brother says, come on, Issei, let's just go home. This is where, well, Issei says, yeah. Wait, where have you been for the last couple of years? This is where his brother sweats up and says, Hmm, studying at a kind of university. Do you not remember me telling that? This is where, well, he says it. Yes. Wait, if you've been just studying, that... This is where he says, remind the question, say, e Wait, he then kind of, like, names out his brother's name being, well... He then kind of says, Rin, um, I want to ask you a question. This is where, well... His brother kind of looks at him with a very, very gentle, golden brown eyes, and of course smiles and says, "Oh, you want you want to ask me about your golden heart status, isn't that?" This is where he says, "Like how how do you how do you know?" Well, I wouldn't be so how should I say it would have been too hard and too difficult if you had your guard kind of up still. You know, from me undying your hair and taking both of your eye lances. You say, uh, well, this is where, well, that and also I can feel the power of a phoenix, a bit of power of a phoenix, probably the leader. And also, um, the, like a, a bit of a griffin power. Not the leader, but still a griffin. I can feel the power from them coursing through your body. So I definitely know that. Uh, was it called? You met up with them. So, meaning that you might have already kind of, or they might have told you a little bit of the Golden Heart status. This is where, well, you say not very fast. This is where, well, this is where so and so says, we gotta go home first. It seems it's getting really late. Let's go then, little brother. This is where, well, uh, mostly you say, uh, but, but, uh, but I wanna, come on, don't worry. We'll be going home really fast. Just hurry up. This is where, well, he says, hey, how will we get, get home fast if we're kind of in the middle of uh, Kuo? Like this. This is where, well, we'll see both Issei and what's it called, well. His brother just sunk into the darkness while well, Issei was about to scream, but this is where, well, darkness actually covered his mouth in an instant. And his brother just smiles and says, let's do this. Bye. This is where they both just sunk into the darkness and appear near their house. This is where he says, what, what, what the hell just, what? This is where, well. Uh, mostly his brother smiles and says, Hmm, it's a very interesting technique that I uh, kind of mastered a while ago. Since you know, I'm better at you with magic and other stuff. So I decided to improve my magic instead of trying to figure out how to get your improvement of your magic. Besides, you can improve your magic with your golden heart status. What are you talking about? Please just tell me what's happening. Come on, let's just go inside. This is where he goes inside and of course like he opens the door. And of course, where well, mostly people were kind of like, kind of cooking other things. This is where well, or mostly when they get inside, there was someone cooking, and this is where someone just sitting down. And this is where when they look up, they see Issei and also well, their oldest son. This is where well, they say, Ren, you're back, and Issei, you're finally out of that stupid goddamn disguise, isn't it? This is where Issei say, uh. -huh. This is where he hides behind his older brother, and this is where, well, his older brother just chuckles and says, You do realize that you're, well, mostly mom and dad. The only reason why they kind of discourage you with the whole disguise most of the time and be rude to you was because they, they didn't really want you with that disguise anymore. This is where, well, he says, oh, Really? This is where both his parents nodded. That was the only way that we could actually think of to get you out of that whole scared, frightened style or whatever. Before you turn into a demon. Even with your uh, demon status, your golden heart status would be still fine. He says, wait, how do you know? This is where his parents looked at each other and says, That means, if you already know about your golden heart status, then that means, yeah, it's a good time to tell you. This is where, well, he says, what is happening here? What, how do you, what, but, but, uh, mm. This is where he says, sits down. And just kind of confused. Of course, he's eating. This is where, well, after eating, this is where Issei's parents and his brother does tell Issei about his golden heart status. It's pretty much a status that mostly a child of the Hyoto family will actually have. 
in well mostly since the Hyoto family is kind of a mage family. Of course it worked well. This mage family hasn't well has been here for much more longer than than Issei has actually expected. There's been multiple generations, but mostly the generation that Issei and his brother is, or mostly his brother is a generation eleven, while Issei's status is in generation twelve. Generation twelve of the Hyoto family. This is where it will. Mika explains that mostly she had kind of a not really a huge status of the Golden Heart. It was small and she could always talk to animals that aren't mythical, but they're considered to be somewhat epic, somewhat like that. This is where, well, he says that I see. But what do you mean with the Golden Heart status? Every Hyoto from the original member of the, well, original Hyoto, um, well, yeah, the original Hyoto, or, yeah, someone that was Hyoto, um, what was your grandfather's name? Hmm, his name was Sean Hyoto, the original Hyoto, uh, before creating the Hyoto family. He was considered to be the Golden Heart, uh, king. Of course, he did mention into multiple books in library, if you actually read it, Issei. Issei said, uh, sorry, this is where, well, uh, we'll see his brother says, no, it's fine. If you actually read it, you would have found out that anyone that's in the Hyoto family would actually be able to get the status of the Golden Heart Prince. Of course, no one in our family was ever, ab well, ever able to kind of get the Golden Heart Prince. Mostly, they get like a Golden Heart style, but of course, it just increases our magic a lot. But you, on the other hand, you got the Golden Heart uh, Prince status because when you were younger, multiple mythical creatures, baby, well, baby mythical creatures were usually around you most of the time. Even older mythical creatures. Of course, we decided to keep that away from you and told the mythical creatures not to tell you even when you unlock it until we told you about it. This is where they all made a promise and all of them. Now, now that we're telling you this, you will now know everything about the Golden Heart status. Of course, even even though if you have such pitiful magic, that was actually going to just be an exchange for the fact that you are mostly the status of Golden Heart Prince. This is where, well, he says, oh, so how would I get stronger though? We just got to talk to any of the mythical creatures. Some of them are ruthless, some of them are not. So it'd be easier for you to just go through some of the dimensions. And don't worry, your demonic status, even if you are a demon, I can always get rid of uh, get rid of it for you. This is where Issei says, "Wait, you can get rid of the demon, but wouldn't I die?" This is where well, uh, mostly Ren says, "No, no, I know how to get rid of it without you dying." And besides, you met the phoenix, being that you're kind of immortal a little bit. Besides, you're fine. Um, you will just be in a weakened state, but I'll take care of you. <laughs> Your older brother will be taking care of the little brother. This is where Issei starts up and says, "Oh." Um, I don't know if I want to take the pieces out just yet. You're still trying to wonder if the red hair girl likes you? Hmm. I can't tell the future, but I can always just have a weird feeling that she probably doesn't like you. Yes, sir, Issei says, uh, that hurts a lot. Don't worry. Maybe one of her childhood friends like you. Hmm. Now that I think about it, you had four childhood friends. Yeah, Matsui Murahama. And... Iron and was it called uh what was that girl's name? Are you serious? You're an idiot. No, I'm not talking about Matsui Murahama. Matsui Murahama were just two perverts that I kind of just had to kick away from being anywhere near you. Is that why every time you just try to kick them away? Yes, you idiot. I'm talking about your other childhood friends. Wait, I had others. Iron wasn't Iron. It was Irina. You moron. He says, "Oh, oops." This is where well. He then shook his hand and says, no, not the point. There was Irina, Junko, and also two others. Mostly someone named, uh, was it Calm, Rappi, and the other one kind of being named, what was her other name? Ah, I can't remember the last one, but I do have a connection with them. He's just like, okay, why are you telling me this? So if your date with the devil girl doesn't, like, work out or any of that, and she just decides to keep using you, uh, I can always take out the pieces and you can go out on a date with them. This is where, well, he says, uh, his face becomes all red. And this is where, well, mostly his brother's chuckling, saying, come on, Issei. 
There's nothing to be embarrassed. That's right, Issa says. There is something to be embarrassed. You're saying that out so casually like you were actually planning this from the very beginning. This is where, well, his brother says, no, why would I ever begin, well, try to uh, begin this plan from the very beginning? It's not like when I saw you uh, four together, it's not like I was already planning from the very beginning and what to do with all four of you. This is where, well, he says face becomes all right and says, you're so mean. Other brother, other Nissan, this is where, well, his brother chuckles and says, oh, come on, it's not that bad. Besides. If you manage to plant your seed with this is where he says it, I'm I'm done. I'm just going back in upstairs. This is where he rushes out of mostly his brother's sight and his like parents' sight and this is where well uh, his older brother's chuckling and this is where his parents are also chuckling. This is where well they kinda uh mostly says towards mostly Ren saying you should probably check up on your little brother, making sure that he doesn't do anything dumb about it. This is where well Ren nodded and says, Don't worry, I'll be staying here for a while. I don't really have anywhere to travel but just yet. I can go back to Ireland and, well, talk to someone there, but I'd rather stay here for a while. This is where they nod and kind of chuckle. This is where, well, we go into Issei's room, kind of just switch up and saying, <laughs> This is where he sits down and says, Is Ri excusing me? Does she not like me? Hmm. Maybe I should go to sleep. This is where, well, Issei falls asleep, but yeah. But for right now, I'm going to leave it off here for part one of the, well, not part one, part two of this what if. Other than that, bye, see you in yet.